what's up you guys? I thought I'd be making another fandom video this week, but something cropped up on Twitter that caught my attention that I would like to talk about. As you guys know, June is Pride Month. June is the month where you celebrate the LGBT community in whatever form or way that you want. It's also probably um, peak time for the homophobes to come out, but we don't focus on them. June is pretty much the month where all the big brands want to show that they support the LGBT community. And as part of, as a member of the LGBT community myself, I appreciate that, but I find the way that they do it very suspect. They change their profile pictures to like the ra the rainbow flag, the this the overall sigil of the LGBT community. They change their profile pictures to that. If they have a symbol, like if, for example the Xbox symbol, they would have the Xbox symbol with the rainbow behind it. And that's pretty much the kind of theme that all of the brands would follow for their own logos. And where the, the solidarity is nice, they immediately change it back when June is over. Like there's no, there's no waiting, it's immediately changed back. So where it's nice seeing them standing in support, I would rather see something more like they donate to a good LGBT charity or something like that. If they're a big brand, I'm sure they can spare the money. You know, do something that can make a change instead of just changing their profile picture for the month and then immediately changing it back as soon as June is over. But that's not what we're talking about today. As per the theme, as I say, big brands, big companies get in on it, mainly on Twitter and Facebook, that kind of thing. And earlier this week, Nickelodeon up posted a tweet where they were celebrating their LGBT characters. Sora was in there, is that her name? Sora from... No, Korra is a Korra. I'm sorry, I don't I don't know the show, but it's from The Legend of Korra and I, she's bisexual as far as I'm aware, but apparently this annoyed people because from what I hear they didn't let her kiss a girl on their program. They just sort of... I don't know because I haven't watched it. Let me know down below because I haven't watched the show so I don't know but from what I've heard apparently they weren't allowed to be shown kissing. But the, the main person we want to talk about here is Mr. Squarepants. Yes, included in the tweet was Spongebob Squarepants. A cartoon sponge. And this got a lot of people to feel a lot of passionate thoughts whether they be positive or negative. For me... I don't see the point in assigning a sexuality to a cartoon unless it is part of the plot somehow, unless they have a relationship or they're married or whatever. I don't see the point in trying to put sex into a cartoon because it's a kid's show. And I think it's very rude to go against what the original creator of Spongebob Squarepants actually said because Steven Hillenburg actually said I would consider him to be asexual and I think this happened in an interview back in 2005 and in my opinion I think he probably said that because he was fed up with people asking him what the sexuality of a cartoon sponge was. Now I can only speak from my own opinion obviously LGBTQIA asexual is part of the LGBT community but from what most people are gathering from the tweet is that Spongebob is gay because the way Spongebob acts and speaks and the way he interacts with other characters, people sus have always suspected that he's been gay, even though Steven Hillenburg did say back in 2005 that Spongebob was asexual. But I've also heard that asexuality and being gay can coexist at the same time. Because asexuality just means that you're not interested in sex, but you can still have a platonic rela- not- Yeah, platonic! That's the word, isn't it? Pl platonic relationship. But I still don't- there's something that doesn't sit right with me. For for one thing, Spongebob, I think, has been on dates with Sandy before, so if we were going to say anything, we'd say he's not asexual, bisexual, but I'm pretty sure in his wee photo he was multicoloured, which means that he's, he, they were, I think they were going for gay. And it just comes off as suspect to me. When big brands and big companies suddenly make these big announcements that, oh, this character was gay all along, it feels like they're trying to get in on the the hype of the month, if that makes any sense. Like, really, I was never truly bothered when J.K. Rowling came out about Dumbledore. Came out. But the way I'm not talking about J.K. Rowling, I can't get into that. Not on the, not, no. 
But I wasn't bothered when she came out about Dumbledore because I didn't see a point in Harry Potter where his sexuality could have become relevant. And I actually found the description of his relationship with Grindelwald kind of a bit speaking for itself once you knew the context. But I read the books knowing. I read the books after the announcement. So I can't say what it's like to read from the perspective of someone who has no idea whatsoever about Dumbledore's sexuality. Maybe it just came off as a really close friendship. But it does feel like trying to like sneak in there on a hype month to get people to be like, oh my god, look at you, you're so inclusive, we totally need to watch more of your shows. And to me it's blatantly obvious. I don't, I don't think many people actually fall for it, but... Because loads of people were praising it and saying, yeah, I knew all along, and I'm just like... Really, honey? Really? For me, I don't think it's necessary to add a sexuality to a sponge because he's a sponge. So I've left Twitter pretty much because that whole website has just turned into a whole lot of tomfoolery that I just can't be bothered with. So I just sort of boycotted all that. I'll probably still use Twitter to like promote videos and stuff because you know the grind never stops. <laughs> But I just wanted to make a short video talking about the Spongebob thing and Pride Month. I don't think it would make 10 minutes because it doesn't feel like it would be that long of a video. But that's just what I feel like about the whole Spongebob situation as a member of the LGBT community. Um, I am very naive on a lot of topics such as asexuality and stuff like that. So do let me know down below what you think if you have more experience with that kind of thing. And happy Pride Month! <laughs> Celebrate with Spongebob I suppose! <laughs> I'll see you all next time guys. Sorry this video is kind of short but there wasn't a lot I wanted to say. I just wanted to make a wanted to make a video of some sort about Spongebob and this whole gay situation. So let me know down below what you think and I'll see you next time guys. Sorry the video is short but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sometimes there's not a lot to say. So I'll see you next week guys.